good morning students in this video session i am going to explain about the formatted input statement in the previous video session i explained formatted output statement okay what is formatted input and output formatted means you can using this functions formatted input output function we can get any types of data any format of data we can get the input as integer form we can get the input in float form we can get the input in the character form we can get the input in the string form using this function we can get any type of inputs okay that's what we say it is a formatted input output function okay so inside this formatted input function there is only one function called scanf scanf is the function that is formatted input function used to get the input from the user what's the use of scanf scanf is used to get the input from the user through the keyboard through keyboard you can give, give the input with the help of this scanf function and one more thing is there you are typing the inputs in the keyboard right so we say it is a text tree so scanf is used to get the input from the test test screen streams okay and depend upon the format depend upon the format the input should be categorized and stored in the particular format for the particular variable all of you clear so you are giving the input to the keyboard then the scanf function will get the inputs from the text stream that is from the keyboard then it will categorize depend upon the input depend upon the format you given like that it will categorize and then it will be stored in the particular format for the particular variable okay so scanf is the important function used to get the input from the user okay so this is the syntax okay so control string scanf is a predefined function all the function have open parenthesis and ending parenthesis this is the identification of the function so scanf is the predefined function which is stored in the header file standard input output dot h that is nothing but stdio io see all the program you are using stdio that is standard input output inside the header file only this particular function is here okay so control string control string is nothing but it's a format specifier control string is a format specifier used to specify which type of data it is so this control string or format string or format specifier used to specify the type of the data okay so for if it is a character means you have to specify with a control string percentage c if it is a string means you have to specify with the control string percentage s yes. if you want to get the input integer means you have to specify with percentage d if you want to get the floating point input means you have to specify with percentage f if you want to get the input for the double variable means you have to specify with the control string lf so all of you understood what is control string then here you have to give the variable which what are the variable you are used in the program you have to use it here before the variable you have to specify the ampersand i will tell what's the reason we are specifying the ampersand for example first you are declaring a variable in da at that time what will happen inside the memory two bytes was allocated here one address is here 111 okay like that two bytes was allocated here any data is there no so using the scanf i am going to get the data for example scanf percentage d why i am giving percentage d it is integer integer means percentage d what's the control string for integer percentage d i am going to get the input as integer so percentage denotes integer you are telling to the compiler i am going to get the input integer type of integer type okay 
then comma address of a this ambassador denotes address what address this address so inside this address suppose if you are giving that 10 means input 10 means 10 will be stored here for denoting this address only for denoting this address only we are using ampersand all of you understood what's the need of ampersand the variable location the ampersand denotes where the value is going to store what's the need of variable what is this a a is a variable what's the need used to store the value so variables are used to store the value so each variable have one address in memory for denoting that address only you are putting ampersand all of you clear so this is the way you have to get the input all of you understood then you are here also we can use the width like your printf statement here also we can use the width but here while you are using the width of the input you must be careful i will tell the reason for example int a equal to 120 1 2 3 4 okay this is the value okay otherwise we using the scan of we can get it okay so scan of percentage 2d comma address of a so here you are giving the input 1 2 3 4 5 but here what's the width so what the width here 2 your width is 2 so width denotes maximum limit width denote the maximum limit of input so here the maximum limit is 2 but your input is 5 in numbers 1 2 3 4 5 now what will happen it won't take this 3 4 5 if I print the a means print percentage d comma a means you will get the output only 1 2 this 3 4 5 should be skipped what what's the reason because you are giving the width size is 2 the precision or width size is 2 so while using the width in the scan of statement you must be careful okay now we can see with one example so you will get the clear idea so first here see this program what's the need of this hash include hash include means it's a preprocessor derivatives used to link the predefined functions in your program which predefined functions the functions which is present inside the stdio that is standard input output dot h inside the standard input dot put dot h header file lot of predefined functions are there all the predefined functions you are including in your program okay all of you clear similarly hash include conio what is conio console input output dot h that is the black screen output screen functions will be stored inside the header file conio dot h then what's void mine void mine is the starting position so all the c program must have one main okay void is the data type return type so main is the starting position of the program so here inside this void main what is here curly brace is there right what is this curly brace curly brace denotes the starting position okay this curly braces denotes the block block of the program or starting position okay so this curly braces only determine the scope from where to where we can able to use the variables so here what are the variables are there a is one variable b is the another variable 
C is the another variable. Totally three variables. I can use these three variables from here to here. From this position to this position, I can able to use these three variables. So this curly braces denotes the scope of the variables from where to where I can use. Okay. So here I declared three variables. What are the type of the variable? Here A is the integer type. Here it's one to ends with the semicolon. What is this semicolon denotes? The semicolon is called as terminator. Terminator means in your English you are using uh, full stop, right? To stop the sentence there. Similarly, if you want to specify the end point here means we have to use the terminator. So here in the A, the statement ended here. Okay. So more. <coughs> So your statement is ended here. For denoting that, we have to use the semicolon. Again, float B, semicolon. So B is the data type belongs to float. Similarly, C is the variables belongs to character. So here all the lines I am using the semicolon, right? The, <coughs> the further upcoming videos, I will explain where, where you have to use the semicolon and where you should not use the semicolon. Semicolon denotes the end point. If you are using if, while, function, there you should not, you are not supposed to use the semicolon. All the other places you have to use the semicolon. So, why I am not using semicolon here? If I put the semicolon here means your program ended here itself. It won't check these all parts. It's wrong. Here, main is the starting position. That's what I am not using the semicolon. But here I am using the semicolon. Why? The statement is ended here. In the F float B. So totally three variables. This part is called as variable declaration. Then clear screen. What is clear screen? This clear screen is present inside the header file conio.h. Clear screen is nothing but in the output screen, if any document is here, sorry, any content is there, it will clear so that you will get, you, you won't confuse with the old data. That's the reason we are using clear screen. CLR, SCR of clear screen. See, this is a predefined function, but I am using semicolon here. Why? It's ended here. Okay, then scan of, I already explained how to, you will get the input. Here how many variables are there? Three variables. So three control string you have to use. This A belongs to integer, so percentage D. This B belongs to float, so percentage F. Then this C belongs to character, so percentage C. And please keep in your mind, you can, you are not supposed to Give the space at the end. Here, if you are give the space, means it won't create the issue. Here, no, it won't create the error. But if you are giving space at the last, it leads the error. So, please keep it in your mind. No spaces will be allowed at the end of the control string. Okay. So, here I am using space. Here, not it won't create any problem. If you give space here, at last if you space here, it will create the error. Okay. So, first percentage D for integers, then percentage B, uh, F for float, percentage C for character. Then address of, what is the need of address? For the particular variable address, address of A, address of B, address of C. So, in the output screen, you are giving 10, then you can give space, space 20, then space 20.0, right? It is a float, then space A, you can give like this, otherwise you can give by using enter, okay? These two ways you can able to give, so here, a uh, space button is acts as the end of the input. See, after 10 I am giving the space. So, 10 is considered as one value. 
So space space button is or the enter key is used to end of getting the one input. After 20.0, I am giving the space. So this is one value. Again, this is one value. Okay, all of you understood. Now I am going to print the screen. So what will happen? So now inside this, inside the gate, 10 is here. Then 20.0, uh, B is here. Then inside C, A is here. Okay. Now print screen. So again, while printing also, you have to specify which type you are going to specify. Which type you are going to print. First of all, you are going to print the variable, the value which is present in the variable. You are going to print the value which is present in the variable a. What is present in the variable a? 10. Then you are going to print the value which is present inside the b. Which type of value is there? Float value. So 20.0. Then you are going to print the value which is present in the character C. So it is A. All of you got it? Now here I am going, then get CH. What is get CH? It's getting a character for holding your output screen. It, you are using this get CH. So till you are getting a character, your output screen will be displayed. Once you a, press a enter button or any button, it will get the input and it will come out from the console screen. That is output screen. For that purpose, we are using get CH. All of you got it? Now, here I am going to do few modification. Okay. Percentage 2D. Okay. Okay, here I am going to do few modifications and I will explain. So here I am using percentage 2D. Here my input is for example 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, now what will happen? My second input, first input is for A it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. For B it is uh, 65.0. Now I am going to print the A and B. Now what will happen means here you are using the width percentage 2D. You are using the width percentage 2d so what will happen means it will take only 2 for this a and 3 will be assigned for this assigned for this b that's the reason i told you have to be careful while using the width okay so while you are printing you will get the output 12 then 3.000 Again, in the next scan of while you are running, it will take 4. It will take 4. And the next, it will take 65.0. This kind of errors will come. If you are using this width size here, two character, two values will be assigned for this A. The third value will be assigned for B. And one more thing here. If I put the star here instead of 2D, if I am used star D means, what will happen means, it will get the input 1, 2, 3, 4, comma, space, 65.0, two inputs I am giving, okay. This first input will be get from the user, but it will be won't store for the variable, star D means, it will get the input from the user, but it won't stored in the variable. If you are printing the answer means you will get only 65.0. It would not be stored under A. Star D. 
star d means it will get the inputs but won't store in the particular variable all of you got it and one more thing okay these are the things we have to remember while using the scanners okay so what are the things i explained the first one is percentage d control string then percentage 2d then percentage star d okay so these are the different things we can use in the control string so how you get the input particular control string you have to particular control string you have to given then address of the variables i hope you understand this input statement students thank you